Hey everyone, Kevin here. If you're a small business or you're self-employed and you want free stimulus money, or you've already taken some free money in the form of an EIDL grant, you're considering the EIDL loan, or maybe you've taken the PPP loan, but you're worried about forgiveness, this video is for you. Heck, maybe you didn't even take the PPP loan or apply for it yet because you think the forgiveness is gonna screw you, in other words. This video is definitely for you. So if you want free money and you're self-employed, this is for you. Now, if you think back to Sunday's town hall that Donald Trump did with Fox News at the Lincoln Memorial, you might recall that there was a part of the interview where Donald Trump was asked by a husband and wife what they should do. They're a small business and they don't feel like they qualify for any of these small business loan programs because they don't have any employees. To which Donald Trump said, hey, I'm gonna look into this and get back to you. But the correct answer for this was apply for the PPP. As long as you have 1099 somebody to help you establish your business, a lawyer, a CPA, or you know what, maybe you 1099 the design guy or the guy who made the signs for you or who printed your business cards. As long as you 1099 somebody to prove that you're actually a small business, you can apply. You don't need employees to apply for the PPP. So if you're still discouraged about applying for the PPP, do it. You got like two days left. The expectation is all of the next round of PPP, this round two money is going to be gone by Friday. I would go to cabbage.com right now, K-A-B-B-A-G-E.com and apply for the PPP right now. I'll put a link down below showing you exactly how to walk through this. I'll uh, put a link there so you could see how to align the PPP with the EIDL and the timeframes for unemployment and pretty much everything. So you make sure you maximize all of your money. But if you're in doubt, at least apply and get in line because I've got an update for you on forgiveness by Marco Rubio. And this is huge. So if you haven't applied for the PPP yet, do it. Even if you don't have employees, do it. Now, I'm gonna talk about the EIDL as well in a little bit, but right now I just wanna focus on Marco Rubio's update because it's a good one. Marco Rubio stated that right now, when it comes to forgiveness, there are no guidelines yet for forgiveness. So if you're feeling lost and you know, okay, I have to ask for forgiveness at some point, don't worry, everybody feels that way. Nobody knows how to request for forgiveness right now. It's, it's like weird. And that actually has led a lot of us, like I personally was worried about this thinking, well, come on, if there's not a clear way to set up for forgiveness here, are they just gonna end up screwing us? Like, oh, you know, 75% has to be payroll, 25% has to be that. Oh, you didn't rehire all your employees by June 30th. Well, you're not getting for forgiveness. It's a mess. And so here's what Marco Rubio said. He said, the treasury department came out with the guidelines that said 75% has to go to payroll. And then he says, quote, that's not the law. That's a guideline. We're hearing that businesses can't do 75% in the next eight weeks, but there's an exemption in the law. Quote, if you can't do it in eight weeks, you can come back and say, we did rehire the same people by the end of June. And that essentially you need more time. The problem is there's no guideline right now on forgiveness. There are no guidelines on anything about forgiveness, Marco Rubio says. And remember, he's the dude that's basically in charge of this over in Congress. He heads like the, the committee for small business. Anyway, he says, the intent of the law as we wrote it was, quote, businesses use the money for payroll now or down the road with some flexibility and this loan would be forgivable. This was never designed to be a loan program. It was supposed to be, it was designed to be like a grant program. It was just a loan to ensure it would go to payroll, hopefully on the front end, if not, then on the back end. That's really good. So a basic walk away argument here is, if you're in doubt about applying for the PPP, apply for the PPP. If you're self-employed and it's just you, apply for the PPP. You're like, well, how do I prove my payroll? Well, you have income and expenses, right? And you ended up taking a profit from that business on your tax return, on your Schedule C, or you took a profit or a distribution from your company, right? There are some arguments that you can only apply payroll if you have an S corporation for uh, payroll that you actually paid yourself and not distributions, fine. But if you don't have an S corporation, then you could, in theory, determine what your own payroll would have been if you did. And that's why I would just encourage you to apply. And if you don't have a proper tax structure set up or any kind of tax structure set up, and it's just like, dude, money comes in my account and money goes out my account. Well, then sit down and go through your bank statements for 2019, or at least part of 2019, like the last quarter of 2019 and go, looks like the last three months of 2019, I made $10,000. I spent $3,000 in my business. Those were my business expenses. And I was left with $7,000. Hey, yo, 
I want to apply for the PPP for $7,000 a month. Apply for it. It's free money. Apply. <laughs> Check out the link down below. Uh, but regarding forgiveness, it's good for you to have the update that even Congress doesn't have a, an idea right now. And even the 7525 rule seems to be flexible, which is really good. This should motivate you to apply. Now, Marco Rubio also said that he believes that there'll probably be more money, or he said we might need more money for an additional round of the PPP, we'll see. But his intent is that the PPP is supposed to be forgivable. It's, it's They're not trying to screw people. So it's good that he said that. Uh, and then, you know, you could even get an extension if you bring your employees back. But he does make clear that, you know, they want you to bring your employees back. So no indication that you could get an extension if you don't bring your employees back. Now, other things, uh, Nancy Pelosi actually came out and uh, said that Nancy Pelosi is also looking for additional funding for the PPP in the next round of stimulus, which is really good. In fact, here, Pelosi vowed that Democrats will not only provide, not only provide more funding for the PPP in CARES 2, but there will also, but they will also alter the program both to extend the payback period, good, and, oh, that's good. That's actually really good because remember it was like a two year payback period. That was like crazy short. And to ensure the funds go to the most vulnerable small businesses. She suggested some funding would be earmarked for businesses with 25 employees or fewer down from the current 500 employee threshold. Nice, that's really good. That's really, really good. So get in line, get, get that free money if you've been affected um, by this pandemic. Now. What about the EIDL? Well, we know that the portal's open for agricultural right now. We've already talked about this on the channel that even though it's only open for agricultural, tech, like apparently you can apply anyway, even if you're not agricultural. So obviously that has led thousands of people to apply even though they're not agricultural. Obviously, if you are one of those people, don't expect the money. If, if you get a free grant portion in the future, great. But what I did wanna say is it does look like the SBA has started sending out emails uh, approving people for SBA loans, 30 year SBA loans that you can pretty much get with a few clicks of a button. Let me know in the comments below if you want me to go through some of these loan agreements. Some of y'all have been posting those in Discord. Remember to join that Discord in the link below, which of course, right by the links down below are those links to get two free stocks with Weeble when you deposit $100. And of course, to get free life insurance. Well, <laughs> It's not free life insurance, okay? You have to pay for the life insurance. I almost said you could click the link to get free life insurance, okay? It's not free life insurance. It's just a really easy way to get free life insurance. That would be cool. <laughs> that link would get clicked a lot. <laughs> but anyway, uh, yeah, if you, if you want me to talk about like the EIDL contracts or anything like that on this uh, channel, happy to do that. But obviously we're waiting for that grant program to open up to everybody again. I do wanna say because Republicans are pushing for what I mentioned earlier today, targeted funding, targeted stimulus. My expectation is they're going to, in the next round of stimulus, expand the PPP program and the EIDL program. So you better get familiar with these two programs if you're self-employed. If you have questions, post in the Discord or leave a comment down below. Share this with your friends, hit that red subscribe button, really appreciate your support for the channel. And we're almost at our $25,000 fundraiser goal. So thanks so much for watching and until next time. And that's the fundraiser for feeding hungry children. The money doesn't go to me. It goes to no hungry children. That's the foundation.